Meghan Markle is not just a narcissist, she's a fraud, a manipulative liar, who created a false persona over a number of years, wanted to be a famous, award-winning actress, but well that didn't work, and the rest is history. Thomas Markle knows exactly what his daughter is, and all about her behavior and lies over the past decade. I believe he feels bitterly ashamed and so disappointed, he tried to bring her up in the right way, left to it by Doria who was off doing her thing, not a good mother by any standards. He was by far the better parent emo given the opportunity, he wants to tell his daughter how much he disapproves and she knows it, she knows what she has done over the years, and to hear it from her father she fears would crush her. She won't hear any truth about herself, it will burst the bubble, under all the lies and bravado she is extremely immature. In my opinion, she destroys relationships when she can't control them, which happened with RF, her own family, and on and on, and it will be the same with Harry eventually. However painful Charles finds all this, and in that respect, he is my sympathy, he must put the country and the monarchy first. He must be active and support the immediate removal of their remaining titles and all connections with the royal family. They wanted to leave. They are now commoners and must be titled as such. Harry Windsor and Rachel Raglan. Their behavior has been absolutely despicable. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have reportedly arrived back in the UK ahead of an appearance in Manchester on Monday. It is not known whether they will visit the Queen, 96, or Prince Harry's father, the Prince of Wales. 73. But an unnamed Buckingham Palace source has said the rift between the couple and the firm is painful for the future king after he considered their UK stay for the Platinum Jubilee a minor act of reparation. One friend of the heir to the throne claimed to the Sunday Times, for two years, there has been a steady stream of really challenging things said about a man who cannot, publicly, defend himself to a couple he obviously loves and misses. That is incredibly difficult on a personal level. He is completely bewildered by why his son, whom he loves deeply, feels this is the way to go about managing family relationships. Yes, she always sabotages herself. The RF know they only have to distance themselves and stay quiet and carry on. She cannot help herself, she continues to blabber and preach, showing everyone her true persona. She is now infamous, rather than famous. She can look around for the next male victim but they will be few and very far between and they all already know what they would be getting. Rich men tend to be alert for her kind. Now she has so much baggage it is beyond hiding, and her age is also questionable. Perhaps that ship has sailed. I agree, 100%, I read it this way, as a daughter I probably cared far more about what dad thought about me than my mother. When my father picked me up on something I listened. I hated being in his bad books, her mother has allowed herself to be manipulated and keeps quiet, Thomas won't be shut down so he is ghosted and ridiculed. So right, all that baggage is in plain sight now for anyone with a bit of decency and common sense to know how relationships work. Journalist Alison P. Davis asked Meghan if there was room for forgiveness between her, the royal family, and her own family. She said I think forgiveness is really important. It takes a lot more energy to not forgive but it takes a lot of effort to forgive. I've really made an active effort, especially knowing that I can say anything. Can anyone tell me when she made an active effort to forgive her father? And don't forget claiming BP was making PP's illness sound worse than it was in an attempt to silence her. At the age of 99, any illness can be serious, and the stress Henry and his wife insisted on piling on would have made it harder for PP to recover. Many people think they effectively hastened his end. How's that for compassionate? The royal family as well as the Commonwealth have been called racist, Charles his father, and the next king, people are looking to you to sort this problem out ASAP the queen has got her health to worry about. Otherwise, this problem will lead into the core of the establishment. This is no time to appear weak. Unfortunately. The situation has escalated since they left Britain the Queen should have stripped them of everything then rather than let this farce continue. Sussex has constantly and blatantly used its titles for monetary gain as well as trying to upstage the monarchy whenever it can. I think everyone is appalled by the treatment that Charles and her father Thomas have received both fathers must be heartbroken. 
Charles though is in an awful dilemma if he says anything the Sussex will use it against him so he keeps silent but it really should be the Queen who acts and firmly puts an end to the Sussex by stripping all titles and succession rights and ends the lease on the cottage. Migraine Markle and her now former BFF Canadian Jessica somebody belittled, mocked, and demeaned three-year-old Princess Charlotte at the bridesmaid dress fitting. This is unforgivable and unforgettable. I hate to say this, but he is better off without her in his life. As for his grandchildren, she would make sure that he would never get close to them. If Harry was a real man he would have put a stop to this a long time ago instead of having his grandmother worrying about what made-up stories they are going to come away with next. Your grandmother unfortunately is going to pass on shortly, is this what you want her last memories of you to be? It didn't bother Harry when he and the vile narcissistic sociopath he married, were lying on that Winfrey interview while Prince Philip lay dying in hospital. I doubt he cares whether his and Markle's current behavior is affecting the Queen, I only hope both the Queen and Prince Charles cut Harry out of their wills. She never speaks of her dad. We know she was talking about Harry losing his dad but backtracked when accused of revealing Harry's private relationship with Charles. So, here is another lie to cover a lie, now upsetting Thomas. She doesn't quite get how actions have consequences. She is one piece of work. Do you know what is sad? Apart from everything that is obviously sad that is. Well, Thomas Markle absolutely knows he has spawned a monster and by all accounts, he is a good guy. Suffer little children. Learn Harry, learn. You are not the first fool to fall in love with the barmaid after having a sniff of her apron. You got seduced old boy, plain and simple. By an expert in seduction. The sad bit is this Harry, you actually believe she loves you. Those two grifters don't care who they hurt parents, siblings, and in his case a 96-year-old grandmother who doted on him. They don't care their kids will probably never know their grandparents, uncles aunts, cousins, etc. With those two it's all about the money honey. She has shown what a nasty individual she is, with no respect at all for anyone. Take note Harry, she is a manipulative person that has the only goal of making sure she is okay. Hopefully Archie and Lily can give her a taste of her own medicine come their teens. As for how long Harry will be an asset to her remains to be seen but I think not too long. Her first husband had a lucky escape. So sad for him. I cannot believe how someone can throw it all away preferring to be a victim instead of a strong heroic woman. I'm so tired of the whining and complaining and bashing their father while preaching kindness, etc. to the rest of the world. What a tremendous fall from grace. The future of the monarchy is safe without them. The more vile accusations and insinuations that this horrible pair throw at the Queen and Prince Charles, the more stressed they will become. Stress can lead to sudden demise. And guess what? Harry climbs the ladder as an heir to the throne. I wish the Queen would strip them of any rights to call themselves anything connected to royalty. If that means removing hapless Prince title, then so be it. He doesn't deserve it and she doesn't deserve any titles, other than the ones that cannot be used in polite society. There is something very sinister in the minds of these two. Harry might not, as he is not bright enough, but I doubt Meghan doesn't calculate everything she does. Running down your own family and your in-laws and not just any family, but the RF, in the way these two do is obviously not doing them any favors unless it was purposely intended. I think they would like the Queen to take away their Duke and Duchess titles, so they can call themselves Prince and Princess Harry, which obviously will have more clout in America and earn them more money, which is after all that they live for and to hell with anyone else, despicable people.